Yo, what is going on guys? Element here, back with you for another video, and today we are going to be taking a look at some EZA. So, uh, Dokon, they just dropped these guys, um, Blue Kyle Ken, his EZA, and as well as Super Saiyan, um, Goku, the Spirit Bomb Sword Goku. Um, so they, obviously, they, uh, tweeted this out, like, this morning, actually. Um, so it's not even that long. It's like, what, 15 hours since then or so? Uh, since we gotten that info, so, uh, interesting that they're tweeting them out already. I thought they were gonna tweet them out, like, in a week from now, honestly. Um, or, or nearly a week from now. Um, but yeah. Let's take a look at what they can do. Uh, pretty quick video like that, but yeah, let's take a look at what they can do. Alright, so, we got Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken. Let's see what he's doing. Uh, translations from Gresh, obviously, right? Uh, Alright, so Leap Scale reps the Universe 7 or Universe Survival Saga, uh, Key 3, 170, all around the board, okay? Makes sense. Um, solid, solid. It's just these categories are dead right now, so, you know, unless it gets buffed soon, it's you're not really running him as a lead, right? Um, Alright, attacking defense plus 159%. Guard activity gets all attacks and perform an additional attack that has a high chance to become a super attack for five turns from first appearance. If there's another universe survival song category ally attacking the same turn. So, you get a U USS ally and you get five turns of guard and a guaranteed additional that has a high chance of being super. That's actually pretty good. Um, cause yeah, like we see here, super attack, uh, he re greatly stacks attack, and then he also does raise defense, so if you can like triple super on a turn, uh, you know, the stat, his stacks attack, um, so greatly raises attack, so, you could, uh, stack that up pretty fast, and then obviously the defense is really good, so that's cool. This is cool, um, five turns is kinda short, I guess you could say though, I guess, that, that would probably be the, mean, the main gripe, cause I don't know how high his defense is once you fin fully get him maxed out, so I don't know. But, um, he should be hitting hard. I don't know about his defense. Um, let's see what else we got here. Attacking defense was 10% per attack received. Uh, max of 59. So, we had that last time. Or, before you see it. Um, attack plus 59% when performing a super attack. And gain an additional attack was 59%. And attacks effect against all types when performing a super attack of HP is 59% or below. So, yeah, this is, um, we've had this. Except, he's now getting on super buff. So, that's gonna... His damage is gonna skyrocket when he gets this passive. Basically, when you pop the uh, the active skill, you're gonna be hitting like a truck. Especially if you're stacking attack like crazy, this thing's gonna hit hard for sure. Um, and then you get the super effective. So you know it's not crits, but it's super effective. So it's similar, it's similar. Um, so for sure, this guy is going to be hitting hard. I don't know about his defense though. His defense, he only has this, and then he has uh, the stuff he builds up up to 59 and then he has a super attack effect i don't know if that's enough the guard is nice but it's only five turns maybe if it was seven turns like uh you were seven like maybe seven turns you could get away with him i think a bit more like you could float him off for a few turns and he'd still have it so i think seven turns maybe would have been better um they could have just gave him guard <laughs> if they really wanted to to be fair uh it's you just need another ally in the same turn so um that's still i guess the main thing that universe survival saga doesn't really have much characters to run them with um ui goku is mainly is the main one I'm, like you really want run this guy with because he's the only like uss character that's probably gonna be good enough to run uh in most difficult content so yeah all right let's move on to spear bomb absorb goku um all right leader skill super saiyans category four uh, attacking defense 150 yeah makes sense uh similar to what uh what's his face uh god goku his his leader skill was a key for 150 so yeah all right attacking defense was 159 percent same as uh goku the other goku rainbow changes a type of key sphere to rainbow key spheres had that gain two key in addition to collecting uh rainbow key spheres obviously yeah cup uh, attacking defense was 10% per key sphere obtained, and additional attacking defense was 7% per key sphere obtained per Super Saiyans uh, in the same turn as this character. So you can get up to 17% on Orb, um, on Rainbow. Well, actually, no, it's per key sphere. Yeah, per key sphere. Yeah, not Rainbow key sphere. Per key sphere. 17% um, if you have. Uh, well, actually, no, not 17. You get, what, it's 14. 24? Because, yeah, if you get two other Super Saiyans, you get set 14 here and then 10. So you get, um, you can get up to 24% on thing. And you're getting defense from this. It's gonna, it, that's gonna, his defense is gonna be high if you get, if you have two Super Saiyans on the team, uh, on the turn. That's gonna be so, that, that is gonna be interesting. Alright, um, chance to perform a crit 
and reduce damage received by 7% per rainbow keysphere obtained. So if you have a uh, couple rainbow keysphere, like say you get like four at least uh, rainbow keysphere, uh, four you're gonna be what? 28% crit chance and damage reduction along with the amount of defense he has. And he greatly raises attack and defense on both of his super attacks. He, he, this guy is good. Like this guy is good for sure. Like the rainbow orb change, he's gonna be very valuable on a lot of teams that he's on. Um, and I, obviously I know Super Saiyan Goku, we have like already two other ones that are Carnival LRs that are already top tier characters. Now we got another one added in the mix. It's going to get interesting for those teams, but I, I, I do like how they, they do have uh, different play styles. They're all different from each other. Um, Carnival Goku, the SCR one is like a support. Um, he has that scouter, the active skill. Um, Tech Carnival Goku has, uh, he's like a defensive juggernaut, you know, guard, stacks, uh, revive. Uh, and then this Goku's like, he's a bit different. He's a bit more technical, I guess. He, he helps the team in other ways than the SDR one. He rainbow key sphere uh, changes. He, he hits harder. He's going to hit harder than the other ones, obviously. He's going to hit harder. Um, and he, but he has the damage reduction and crit chance. So he's like he's more well-rounded than the other two. So you could definitely see you start feeling for all of them. And don't forget that this guy has the um, lowering attack and seal. So for Super Battle Road, this guy's going to be a killer in there, too. I'm excited for this guy's EZA. This guy looks interesting. This guy is a little iffy. I don't know if his defense is high enough. Um, just gonna be completely honest. I don't, I don't think his defense is going to be high enough, honestly. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, I, I think Spirit Bomb Absorb should definitely uh, be impactful. Uh, Blue Power Ken is cool, and I think he's gonna hit extremely hard once you stack up the attack, but I don't know about that, uh, that, that defense. It's iffy, it's iffy, so. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's pretty much me, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.